So I want to tell you about Aura Glow Teeth Whitening Gel. This is an at-home teeth whitening system that is actually pretty cool. I want to show you about the product itself and then how to use it. Now this is comes in with three syringes. Each syringe has 10 uses. You can see where the distance between the that line below the nine to the line above the nine, that's the amount is going to be one use and it's gonna be that tiny amount is going to fill the two trays with enough to do a whitening session. And you can get these in three different, I believe it's three different strengths. There is a 22%, a 35%, and a 44%. If you're first starting, you wanna start with the lower percentages until you know that it's not going to bother your gums or if whether or not you have sensitivity to this type of a product. After you've chosen what kind you want, uh, the first thing you're going to do is make custom molds. Really easy to do. There's a lot available on Amazon. I've actually done a video on how I made these. This part right here was the handle um, to dip it in the hot water. Uh, they're not hard to make. Uh, you can see the outline of the tooth here, and this here is where my gums were. And you want it to be as tight against your teeth as you can. Now, to actually start using one a session with this, first thing you're gonna do is floss and then brush your teeth. After you've done that, you're going to, using the syringe, you're going to put the gel where the teeth are on the mold. Now you wanna do the best you can not to have it down where the gums are gonna be. So you wanna keep it in the, the tray for the teeth as best you can. If it does get in the spot where there's not going to, it's not going to be on your teeth, you can use a Q-tip or something like that to remove that extra gel so that it's not going to potentially irritate your gums. So once you have put enough in the two trays and you go to put them in your mouth, depending on what percentage you are using, whether you're using a 22% or a 35% or a 44%, that decides how long you're gonna leave the tray in your mouth. If you're gonna be using 22%, which is a, a good starting place to see if you're going to be able to tolerate it well, the 22% uh, carbamide peroxide gel is going to, you're going to want to leave it in for one to two hours. So you'll put these trays in and just uh, watch a TV show, read a book, whatever you're going to do, and just keep them as tight against your mouth as you can. So you really don't want to be trying to talk around it because that's going to move them around in your mouth. If you're using the 35 or the 44%, you only have to put them, leave it in for about 30 minutes. And that is much faster because it's a much stronger amount of carbamide peroxide. So it's very easy to use. Once you've removed your tray, you're gonna wanna rinse and go ahead and, and spit. And then you wanna do it once a day for seven to 14 days, unless you're feeling some sensitivity and then you might wanna go every other day instead of every day. You don't want to use it for more than 14 days straight. Uh, they recommend that you wait four to six weeks before you start another cycle of it. Overall, it's a really, really great option to be able to whiten your teeth from home.